Hello, I'm William Rafferty from Cleveland, Horizon Science Academy, Cleveland High School, and this is the 3D mirror scope ah, experiment. What you're going to need is a 3D mirror scope and a small object like this toy frog. What you're going to do is you place it in the center of the bottom one, and you place the lid on top. You can see there appears to be the frog above it, right? But what seems to be going on? I can't seem to touch it. Now, now uh, your 3D mirror scope creates a hologram image that looks 100% real, but you can't touch it. This is because of an object placed in placed in the center of the bottom concave mirror projects there they are instantly uh, projected up to the viewing circle appearing to be floating in a total of three dimensions now now you uh, believe that you would be able to touch it because it looks absolutely real but when you try to your fingers will pass right through it now this will, this will essentially work with any small object but Avoid using metal objects as it may scratch the, uh, the surface of the mirror. Now the, the image that you are seeing is being formed as a result of the two concave mirrors facing each other. Oops. <laughs> when you place an object in the center of the bottom concave mirror, all of its features are being reflected to the center of the viewing circle, which can be viewed at 360 degrees. So really, as you are rotating this and this uh, 3D mirror scope, and three to all three dimensions, you are able to visualize all sides of the object. Until, and you believe you will be able to touch it until you try to. Now this phenomenon is called a three-dimensional real imaging because the shape of the concave mirrors uh, reflect all aspects of the object that appears that appears in the viewing circle. So, so this is recreating the entire visual appearance. So. My name is Liam Rafferty, thank you for watching.